Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this job video. Today I created this dot slack effect in a ring form. So you can see I have this light that is selecting my dot and I can change the light length like this. I can increase the brightness of this and I can change and I, I have also color uh, control. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I will use the same process like in this video, this last video dynamic dot slack. So if you don't understand what I'm doing, you can watch this six minute video also to understand better. So basically in this one and what I have a single parameter and I can switch between these balls and the selected one is more brighter. So this is what I will do with the ring. So I'll make new folder here and I'll make a material m dot ring and let's put it on a planar and I'll make my material undit to side it so what I'll do I'll again take a radial okay and we can make this sharp by increasing density and if you want to repeat this, what you can do, you can take texture coordinate, multiply and take a frac. And because multiply is one, so it will repeat one time and you will have a single uh, radial. But if you make it four, it will be four by four. But this is not a ring. So to make a ring, we change the UVs from this to vector to radial. And I'll use this one here. I'll delete this. So now you have this, but again, same kind of thing. Let's say you have 28. So you have so many doors on vertical and horizontal, like on both axes. So what you have to do basically, like the I like similarly I did in this one. So what I'll do, I'll break this. So I'll just use the red channel from this and I'll use append vector and I'll use the Y channel directly from here so shift C for the mask and I'll use this so now you have a single and it's like a flower you can decrease this like 10 okay so like this let's make it uh, like 10 or maybe 28 was perfect size now we have to change the size of this so I will just multiply it so it's now 28 I will multiply it like 28 and now we have to offset it from here to here so I will add and uh, I will use like uh, around half of this so I will use minus 14 so it will offset from here to around here and it will make a ring so let's say at this value you have the perfect circles and you can increase or decrease uh, number of circles from this and now what I want is uh, let's say I want uh, to select these circles like I, I was selecting these uh, circles here so what I'll do I'll use a uh, because we are using a ring so I will not use this I will use this again so I'll use this angle distance and if I preview this is how it looks and to offset it I will add and let's make a parameter let's call it select and again uh, to repeat this I'll use a frac Okay, and then I'll use to, to cut it half, I'll use step. And how much value I will use is in this step? Uh, we are using 28 rings. So if I take calculator and one divided by 28, so this will be our value. I'll just copy this and I'll paste this here. And if I preview, this will be the exact cone size which will select your one ring so let me show you so if i add these together now 
and let's save and check it in the instance material. So I will make an instance of it. And see, it's perfectly selecting one ring. And if I change the value, but now it's again cutting half. So we have to do something, some math. So it will just snap to the another, uh, uh, another, uh, the next circle. So here we will do the same math we did in this tutorial. So I highly recommend to watch this one also. So for this value, I will divide it with the same value, this one. And then take the round of this. And then I will multiply the same value and then connect it here. Let's save it. And see, it's not cutting your circles half, it's just snapping to the next. Now let's do some fun with this. So let's say you have this ring. So I will just multiply it with a color. Let's say a dark red. Okay, and let me just also preview it here so we can see what is happening here. Okay, now this cone, I want to make it like a spotlight. So what I'll do, I'll take a radial and use the power to control and multiply it with this cone. This is my cone, this light, multiply it and then I will add it. So now you will notice it will cut half. See, and we can increase this power, although we can make a parameter of this uh, and we can call it light length. And by default is zero, I'll make it like around here and it looks like spotlight. And we can also multiply it with a different color. Let's say I'll multiply it with a orange color. Then I will add. So it's now a spotlight that is orange and is. Now I want this circle to be brighter where the light is uh, beaming on it. So what I can do, I can use the same radial. But with a power again, I'll use a different uh, one more power. Or I'll just use power from here. Oh my God. This. Then I will saturate it and use a LERP. So with this, because this is beam, so it's black from here and white from here. So I have a LERP that I that I will uh, that give me the uh, the the channels, uh, the black and white thing. And let's also multiply it with this to mask it out. So if I preview now. Let's see what we have. So we have this basically. Okay. So now we have this red color. So I want to make it bright. So what I'll do, uh, let's move these all thing here. Okay. So this red color I will use here on the, on this. And let's not preview it and see what happens. Something weird happen here. Let me just check. So we have this. Let me just tweak it a little quickly. I'll just avoid this for now. Then we are using this. We have this. We have this. Let's use from here. Let's make, uh, um, yeah, we have this. And now if I use, let's saturate it. Actually. If I use it on the LERP and preview, this is red and I'll just duplicate it to make it green. So we will have idea 
where it's working so it's green from here and rest of thing is red so now we can control it with this like this yeah cool then we can use it here now if I preview this see so it's if I zoom it's red from here and green from here so that means we can make the parameters so this is the green so green one is the part where light is so I will convert it light rim light we can call it rim light and this is actually the dot color and we will make this also a parameter and control uh, dot light so we have all the parameters let's save it and now we will control it so we increase it and now this one this green one I will make this also red but brighter maybe 100 or maybe 500 let's say 100 is enough and now with this control we can see how much control we need like this much cool and this is light length we can use this much this is select and now I want the selected should be red rest of should be green so there is another way so this red thing making all the rings red this one so what I'll do I'll use a lerp here again and I'll use this tap but I'll use the saturate because this is tap is a cone which is selecting my rings with my dots so I'll do it here on the white part where my selection is I want my red color and non-selected should be green and then I'll just plug it here and save it now this is how it works and it looks really cool I hope you learned something new today so if you really liked it subscribe like and uh, comment and share this video that really helped me to grow this channel so thanks for watching keep learning bye bye